Embracing its heritage and moving into the future, one Australian railway network is facing the new millennium with renewed vigour. Australia's largest rail network, Queensland Rail, has a rich and proud history stretching back to 1865. The former steam erecting shop at Main Depot hosted the restoration and ultimate return to steam. Since these scenes have been filmed, the erecting shop has been demolished and so the connection between these historic icons has been lost forever. Participating in the celebrations, PB 15732 accompanied A10 No. 6 on a parallel run along the suburban quad to Corinda. Speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour are maintained to keep these trains operating at maximum efficiency. 24 hours a day, every day of the year, the coal is kept moving from mines to the port. There have been no regular services beyond Melawandi for some time, even though the track extends as far as Brulu. B15732 and diesel electric Loco 1615 are heading off towards the Brisbane Valley branch. Bringing up the rear of this unusual train is the state governor's special car. Descending the Toowoomba range requires good train handling skills. The check rails highlight the torturous nature of train operations on the tight curves, coupled with heavy grades. Before long, 1051 was blasting its way along the suburban quad system, just like the good old days. This single unit rail car or rail motor as they're more quaintly known in Queensland is the sole survivor of the 1900 class series. There were only two units built and both entered service with Queensland Rail in 1956. The 1900s were the first stainless steel rail cars to be manufactured in Australia. With the vista of the Glasshouse Mountains in the background, 1079 is setting a good pace northwards.
Walkers Limited's parent company and a consortium of partners were awarded a contract to build a tilt train. Normal running will see the trains operating at 160 kilometres per hour. The 622 kilometre trip between Brisbane and Rockhampton will be reduced to seven hours. Queensland Rail's direction of tilting into the future will deliver outstanding outcomes into the next millennium.